Hi everyone, so today I thought I would just do a quick little video on how I use up a book page to make little self-closing, little closure envelopes. Um, they're really quick and easy to make um, and I thought I'd show that with you today. So I get an old book page, this is one that I've coffee dyed. I've roughly cut it to six inches by six inches and let's fake it. I don't worry which way my writing is going to go. I just make them and use them up. So first of all, I'm going to fold it in half, point to point. And then I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to bring this point up to that middle fold now. Try and get it sort of central. The more central you get it, the better the outcome. If I flip this over and have some lines on my board, there we go. We can maybe line up a little bit straighter. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to fold up again back to your middle line. Now we're going to take this edge across, but I'm not going to press down yet because I'm also going to bring this edge across over the top. And this is to make the bottom of the envelope and you want this corner to tuck into that fold so that they're equal, as equal as you can possibly get them. Once you're happy with where they're sitting, line them up straight and you can press down and put your crease in. Okay. There. Once you've got to that stage, you can either glue the bottom then. I like to put all my folds in first. So now what I'm going to do is take this piece that we've got on the top and I'm going to fold it so it folds to the point there. Put a crease down and then bring it back and open it. Slide your finger into the gap and then you're going to press it down flat so your point here comes to your point at the top there. And you've made a little diamond shape. That's going to be the little closure. Then you fold down the top of your envelope to fit in where you're happy with it sitting. So you can either bring it right the way down and have a shorter envelope, or you can leave it longer and have a deeper envelope. I'm going to do this one midway. Put your crease in and there you have your envelope. Now you can leave it like that where it is but I like to seal my envelopes so that I can use both the little pockets that I've created inside at the back and at the front. So I'll just show you how I do that. So gently opening it up I'm going to glue along this line onto here. And that will seal this part of the envelope. Just a thin line of glue. I'm using Fabri-Tac. Pop that down. Give it a squeeze. Make sure it's lined up. Get rid of any excess glue. Okay, and then I'm going to glue along this bottom line here, but also up there, and then that will seal that. We could also go right the way across, so you're going to do up there along that edge, and then just this section which is to the point of your diamond and that will hold all of that side in place. Okay, so I'll pop 
a little glue along the bottom, a little up the side there, and then marking with my finger where I need to go to, I'm just going to go along that top edge. And then I'm going to press all that down. So your bottom and then the edge of your diamond. Pressing all that down, get rid of any excess glue. Okay, now that is that part sealed. I also like to stick down this side of the die band underneath and that just gives us a nice closure that's not flapping about. So fold it over and then just pop a little glue just on your, your diamond and press down. Make sure that glue hasn't gone onto the top part of your diamond. Okay, that's all okay. So now you've got a little front pocket in your envelope and you've also got a little back pocket in your envelope. Fold down and tuck the top of your envelope into the closure. And there you have a little mini envelope. Now, I like to just go around them with some ink, just to highlight the edges. So I'm using Vintage Photo and I'm just going to go along the top. I'm going to go on the edges of the flap around the edges of the envelope on the front these are lovely to just tuck into pockets and put little bits of pieces in them little stamps little pictures little cards and we're also going to ink up the diamond closure. I go down the insides of these. And I also like to just fold back and just highlight the inside of the envelope as well. As it's quite plain there, I'm just going to pop a stamp on it. I'll use the one that I already had on there. I think I will change it. Let's do, this is going in my Voyager journal. Um, so I'll keep it on a nautical theme. Put an anchor on this one. on the front I'm going to pop an anchor stamp put that in there for a moment take that off and that is the front of the little envelope and on the back on your closure just to make it stand out I'm going to pop a little flower stamp rather mess about I'm going to do it by hand Down there, push down. There we go, and that just highlights your little closure. And there you have a little mini envelope in a vintage style from an old book page. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe that'd be super. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.